Hey gents, Miggy here. It's not every day that you come across a quality video created by a woman who tells it like it is. The following video features the cold hard truth. Women don't need men, but, but, oh well, you get the picture. If in the future any SJW or feminist says that she doesn't need a man, send her the following video and tell her, Miggy says, forever carrot, Uruguay, North Tango. A few moments later. I don't need a man, but if I get pregnant, I demand that the government make sure that the man I had sex with supports the child that he has no legal rights to. I don't need a man, but if I divorce one, I demand that the government give me a portion of his salary for the rest of his life. I don't need a man, but if my ex-husband or ex-lover can't supply enough money for my children and I, then I demand that the taxpayers support us. I don't need a man, but I demand that standards be lowered and incentives be provided so that I can compete with men in any field that I like. I don't need a man, but I demand that I have free childcare and health care for my children. I don't need a man, but I demand to get paid just as much as a man, even if I'm a worse employee. I don't need a man, but I demand maternity leave from my employer. I don't need a man. But I demand that anywhere I go be a safe space or my delicate sensibilities won't be offended by hearing something I don't like. These delicate sensibilities of mine must be protected by any means necessary. Social pressure, university speech codes, hate speech laws, or even the threat of violence from manginas. I don't need a man, but I demand the protection of men in the military, law enforcement, fire department, and of civilian men in general. And I demand that I gain entry into any of the previously mentioned occupations with much lower physical standards. I don't need a man, but I demand that any accusation I make against men be accepted unconditionally by the authorities. I don't need a man, but I demand entry into all male-only spaces and further demand that the men there must change to accommodate me and my desires. I don't need a man, but I demand medical research and popular concern be focused on my problems, despite men dying sooner than women do. I don't need a man, but I demand free birth control, and I will call it a war on women if someone objects to paying for my reproductive choices. I don't need a man, I just demand that men be forced to provide all the services that they traditionally have in the past, but this time free of charge and with society's contempt instead of accolades. Why is it that feminists claim to need so little and yet demand so much? Have feminists ever thought to consider that they may be disliked because they make women weak rather than making them strong? You see, men and women have worked together for countless millennia to survive in this harsh world together. Men have done their part. They've died by the millions of wars. They've slaved their lives away in grueling jobs. And by their labor, by their blood and sweat and tears, they have built this modern world where life doesn't have to be as cheap as it once was. Modern Western civilization is a place of prosperity, where women no longer die by droves in childbirth, where natural predators no longer prowl the woods in search of human prey, and where we don't need to live in constant fear of a rival tribe invading and enslaving or exterminating us. Yes, it's a great world that Western men have built. But despite all of our comforts and luxuries and protections, Men still serve as the backbone of this society. Men still work incredibly hard to maintain what we have and even build a brighter future. They are still needed to provide for women and children, to protect us from criminals and hostile nations. Unfortunately, feminists have largely succeeded in creating a society where the labor of men is divorced from those hardworking men getting credit for it. Men are now forced by law to support women, regardless of how they may be treated by them. And women in turn no longer view men as powerful protectors and supporters, but rather as slaves to be forced into service and tossed away when they fail to amuse. Oh, but the fruits of an abandoned man's labor is not to be abandoned. The discarded male can continue to work to support the woman who no longer wants anything to do with him. Is it any wonder why women in this society have no respect for men when everything that men have traditionally provided and continue to provide is supplied by the government instead? Is it any wonder why women 
who have evolved to respect strength and power, look not to men, but instead to the government as their provider and protector. But even with the government forcing men to provide for women in so many ways, and with so little thanks for it, there are still consequences for the women and children who are told that they only need the benevolent hand of government instead of a real father or husband. We have whole generations of children growing up without men in their lives. The latest research says that one in every three children does not have a father living at home. The terrible consequences of this are readily observable. We have women becoming increasingly bitter and entitled despite receiving all that they demand and more, like spoiled children who throw a tantrum at the drop of a hat. We have men who feel increasingly bitter and alienated, finding it more and more difficult to support a society that not only fails to recognize their vital contributions, but also blames them for all of its problems, real or imagined. I really don't believe that the misandry that dominates our society can last that much longer in the scheme of things. It's a sickness that infects Western society and one from which we will either recover or die. To devalue half of our population, to exploit them, manipulate them, can only be sustained for so long. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button, subscribe, and bang the bell. And if you like my videos, support this channel by PayPal, Patreon, or by crypto. Drop the bass, kitty. Take us out, kitty. I got money in the bank. Shot it with your thing. <laughs>